What's going on guys? Out here just driving my PD for a minute. I know some of y'all screaming, oh your slipper clutch is too loose. It'll be fine in a minute. It, it always tightens up, so. I just like driving this truck, of course, at night because because of the lights. And they made lights for this. That's what makes it so good. It's not like an aftermarket company made it, which isn't bad, but you know, Traxxas designed lights for the Stampede 4x4. Of course, this is still stock out the box. Um, haven't changed anything on it. Gotta watch these cars, they kinda cut through the parking lot. <laughs> like, illegally cut through it. But I can't say nothing because I do it too. You know, when we drive RC cars, we want the air to be ours, we don't want nobody to come near us. See, slipper clutch tighten up, y'all. So stop saying, oh, your slipper clutch is too loose. It's fine. Besides, I don't want my drive shafts to break. <laughs> Being too tight. It'll still do wheelies like this, so. We got all the, uh, the pocket rocket, pocket rocket out tonight. Meaning, as my friend called it, the uh, cars with the banana pipes. <laughs> That's what she calls them. They're out everywhere here, so. Car coming through down there. See how they cutting through? I gotta watch both ways. So much traffic going through here. In case you guys are wondering, I'm running a Venom 4000 milliamp 20C 3S LiPo that's like three years old in here. And some of you guys may be saying, how can you keep a light bulb for three years and it still runs good? I have a lot of the wall chargers that charge your batteries at about three amps. Or I can set it up to three amps. So a lot of times after I drive, and I know I'm going to drive in the next couple of days or the weekend, I just plug them up to those slow chargers and let it, let it charge. By the next morning, it's all charged up. It doesn't take that long to charge, but um, by the next morning, it's all charged up and ready to go. So, and I use those a lot. I got about, I think, eight or nine of those types of chargers. So, after a day of running, um, I have a couple that can char charge 4S LiPos. So, I just kind of hook everything up. Now, I just got to find one that charges 6S, which I don't think I'll be able to, but whatever. <laughs> this thing runs smooth. I have to get some lights and put them on my granite next and get these two out and just, just run them at night. Get my little homemade ramp out. All right, guys, just a run of this. Uh, nothing super spectacular, of course. Just out here running this and figured I'd go ahead and get a couple minutes videos in while I'm out here um, running this and kind of enjoying the the nice summer night why the nights are still warm and stuff but anyway um, I got a project coming up I may do for this so I have to figure out what I'm gonna actually do for this and if I'm gonna inform you guys as I'm doing it or not cause I'm not sure if it's gonna work but you guys stay tuned for that but anyways don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching